is your local election headquarters. The California Democratic Party met for its statewide endorsing convention in Sacramento over the weekend. 17's Jenny Hu was there, and she joins us now with a convention wrap. Jenny? Tammy, the convention was about endorsing 2024 candidates, yes, but discussions on securing the Latino vote often took center stage, as at this Cafecito Vota panel. There is no re-election of President Biden and Vice President Harris without Latinos. The fate of the White House and House of Representatives come 2024 are in the hands of Latino voters, say party leaders and political experts. We had to meet voters where they were because we had to hit and hit every door going door to door communicating with our Latino community. And we had to share a message of inclusivity and, and making sure that they know how politics and government affects their everyday life. This voter base is a big part of both California and the Central Valley population, but Latinos tend to vote at lower rates. So the challenge remains how to get Latino voters to vote. We know that right now in the Central Valley of California uh, that we have some seats that actually should uh, be Democrat. At this point right now, they're unfortunately in Republican hands. One of those seats Democrats want to flip blue is Congressional District 22, held by Republican Congressman David Valadeo. The district is primarily Latino and Democratic. And in the Central Valley, what we're seeing is that these races are going to be called based on Latino vote and primarily the young Latino vote. Cassandra Chavez, organizing director of the California Democratic Party, says younger voters care about the environment, abortion, and student loans, different priorities than the older age groups. Chavez says more generally, the economy and cost of living, housing, and health care in that order are of concern. Advertisements, another element of communication. Now we have ran eight different TV ads and two different radio spots with millions of dollars put behind those ads. So that's top line. Running in both English and in Spanish, running on platforms where Latinos are. For younger voters, it's digital outreach. According to data from L2, an independent voter data and technology firm, Latinos make up over half of Kern's total population and over 40% of registered voters. Why do you think Republican, the Republican Party is vying so hard for our vote this election cycle? Well, they certainly know the, the political and understand the political power of our community. Now, chair of the California Democratic Party, Rusty Hicks, also calls Representative Valadeo's seat a key target, hinting it will again be a tight congressional race. Jenny Hutt, 17 News.